Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content. All I can say is, is wow. If this, this is just crazy, it's just nothing else to say it. So, Captain Marvel, the critics' consensus is 81% cap no, certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, but the audience score is 31%. Wow. Obviously, they will get uh, a lot of people saying, it's the trolls, it's the trolls, they've done this. But even when you go down into the actual critic reviews, there's 255. There we are, there's 49 rotten, top critics 38, and 206 fresh. But this is just crazy to see how much is going. It's basically a majority split. And they are mixed. This is what mixed means. You know, it's it could be you. Know, again, I've seen a few people who have been going against the film. You know, they've actually gone and seen it. And they're like, you know what? It's alright. It's not exactly amazing. But it's a normal Marvel origin film. So, so it could be good, you know. But I will be seeing it with my niece uh, next week. So I'll probably just give my review on it then. But just going through a lot of these reviews, man. It's, it's crazy. Just, you know... In the grand scheme of the Marvel Universe, however, Captain Marvel feels like a supporting player, not a featured attraction. You know, you do have a couple which are giving a, you know, 3 out of 4s, and, you know, like, 3s out of 5, 4 out of 5s, and stuff like that. There's a lot of top critics as well. Joe Morgenstern, Wall Street Journal. This woman is a candidate for genuine heroism. Yet, there's a fundamental dissonance between the depth of her plight of the shallow disorganisation of the script which it does actually seem to be a key aspect of the people who don't actually like the movie is that the script is not up to scratch with this i think this would be uh mostly down to the people who did uh, direct it and they wrote it as well mostly because this is not their genre they normally write However, when you get people outside the genre, you know, they get paid or, or they get hired to write it, they normally do outlandish things, which they, you know, if they did outlandish indie films, they normally bring that to the table. For example, Thor Ragnarok, which no one ever in their right mind thought Thor would be uh, a comedy film like, you know. But uh, with this, see, I will give my uh, my review of Captain Marvel next week when I see it, but... You know, I'm not expecting anything amazing. I'm not expecting anything massive. To be honest with you, I'm actually just uh, mostly looking forward to the end credit scenes. Because that's where the actual Avengers endgame scene kicks in. But, even when you look on YouTube, again, people go, Oh, YouTubers, you know, don't really uh, matter. There's one guy I listen to on YouTube a hell of a lot. And we have the same kind of taste in movies. The majority of the films he likes, I've liked. Ones he thinks are rubbish, I think they're rubbish. And that is Tyrone Magnus. Tyrone Magnus absolutely hates this movie. And he was all for it, you know? You look at his video reactions to the trailers, the scenes and everything else. He was like, yes, I can't wait. Cannot wait for this. And he's just there now, it's like... It's the worst film ever. It's the worst Captain Marvel film, you know, worst MCU movie. If a lot of people are saying it like that, there's only one film I can probably compare it to at the moment, to one I because I haven't seen the film, and that is I can I can compare this to Batman and Robin. It's the Batman and Robin of the series of the MCU universe. But you know, we'll say I, I, once I've seen it, I will give my review, and it will, will be an honest review. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. So you know, be interesting to see how this one goes. Because obviously we are just over a month away from Endgame. If you are new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you soon.